20 years ago, obviously, uh, there was uh, some big NGO campaigns very focused on PVC, and it forced the PVC industry to very quickly go through some of the thinking which the rest of the other polymer industries are having to grapple with now, and there, you know, things like the, the voluntary producer responsibility schemes that came out of uh, that, and obviously also lots of the other commitments that the industry has made through the, uh, the Vinyl Plus development process uh, has uh, had a, I guess it provides a bit of a template for the other poly polymer industries to uh, grapple with the pressure that they're now facing in this kind of new situation of plastics being the bad guy for everybody and something that everybody has an opinion on. Yeah, I mean, I think the NGO world is a lot more complex than it was 20 years ago. Uh, so if we're thinking about plastics, there are, there's a whole spectrum of positions. There are some, some NGOs who are kind of very clearly uh, campaigning against plastic use uh, in, in pretty much all applications. Uh, so that's sort of one extreme. Um, but I think that actually a lot of the, the big NGOs uh, some, some of the global players even uh, have a much more sophisticated view and they have to have a more sophisticated view because they, are, they know their, their positions are going to end up being scrutinised and if actually what they're promoting is a, is a position which doesn't stack up environmentally in the round that's not going to uh, be a good place for them to be either so I think that's where there are some really uh, potentially some really positive alliances to make um, that need to be much more driven around uh, appropriate applications for plastics uh, rather than uh, plastic being in itself being good or bad mm. so appropriate applications and then obviously end of life I guess I would kind of say there are there are probably NGOs from a, the PVC industry point of view uh, that uh, you wouldn't spend too much time uh, trying to, to partner with um, but there are there's actually a lot more out there who I think have a real interest in working with industry uh, more collaboratively uh, than perhaps was the case 10-20 years ago uh, and I think there are some real opportunities there.